Good evening and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to be doing one of my favorite recipes, my grandma's own standard chocolate cake recipe. And we're going to be making it just like she made it. Just like she made it. You're going to want to start off with two cups of uh, our pre-sifted all-purpose enriched bleached wheat flour. That has to be the good stuff. So just reach on in there. Don't, don't be shy. Two, two, two cups or, or so. We're going to keep mixing up our dry ingredients, so we're going to need just a little bit of chocolate powder, which is some of, some of this good stuff. And I just, just dash it on there. My grandma's had this jar for as long as I've been alive. I'm not sure what it is. We're just going to go ahead and put that in there, too. Yeah, you know, like three, four pinches, something like that. Also not sure what this spice is. Um, it looks really good, though. So we're just going to add... I can't open it. I'm not going to add any of that. But we've got our... Uh, Clabber Girl Double Acting Baking Powder. This Clabber Girl Baking Powder is 100% cornstarch, sodium bicarbonate, sodium aluminum sulfate, and monocalcium phosphate, just like Grandma used to make it. Open this bad boy up, and yeah, maybe just like a, like a, a pinch or two. Now we just have a few more dry ingredients, so if you'll follow me right over this way. Uh, First one that we're going to add are uh, three lines of cocoa. You know, my grandma never skimped on that, so I didn't skimp either. I made sure it's nice and powdered, and then just scoop all that right in, right in the bowl. I don't want to leave any on the counter for the kids to get. Give it a nice little, like, mix with your fingers. Make sure all the ingredients are getting to know each other before we move on to our wet ingredients. Now, get out a separate mixing bowl, and let's go with our eggs first. Pretty sure it's mostly eggs. We're gonna add three eggs. Um, that looks about right to me. Just, just like kind of fills the bottom of the bowl. And now we're ready to add the milk. Today we'll just use my grandma's milk substitute. About an eighth of a cup should do. That looks about right to me. Next we're gonna add the corn syrup, the high fructose corn syrup. Today we're using caro. The good stuff. It's nice and fresh. Uh, just got it at Safeway today. Uh, so add uh, maybe like two squirts to this, uh, like one squirt, two squirt. That should be good. Now for the final liquid ingredient. This gives it the final dash of chocolate. It's the chocolate liqueur. We're just gonna measure out two, two shots roughly uh, of this stuff. Mm, it smells great. All right. Now that we've measured that out, just gonna add this. Now comes the fun part, ladies and gentlemen. We get to mix our wet and our dry ingredients. Just go ahead and toss that in there. Now we're ready to mix, so let's get at it. It brings back so many memories of, of doing this with my grandma. Uh, growing up, my parents would drive me all the way out to Kansas, and we would just, just I miss my grandma so much. Uh, I really wish that everyone could have the same Experience making a chocolate cake with your grill. <laughs> Be prepared. We'll take a quick break and then we'll just put this on the sheet and we'll put it in the oven and then we'll be back for a full cake. And now we're nearly ready to bake. All we have to do now is dump this bad boy onto a baking sheet. So set this aside real quick. Pull out any of your favorite baking sheets, minus this one. You can tell because it's mine and I'm using it. So just, just pour carefully and then try to try to spread it evenly across the baking sheet. Just add that. Make sure we get all the way into the corners. We just have one more final ingredient before we're ready to put this bad boy in the oven. Reach over here for one of Grandma's last pills. Oh, the nanomycin and potassium sorbate. Grandma always used this, she said, to keep herself fresh. So we're gonna add some of this to our cake to keep that fresh as well. So just, just open up the bottle and just, you really can't have too much of the, the nanomycin and potassium sorbate. So just all up in there. Now that we've added our nanomycin and potassium sorbate for freshness, we're ready to bake. I'm just gonna open up the oven, which we preheated to 500 degrees and careful not to spill. Ooh, almost lost some of there on the corner. Set this boy in on the bottom rack. All right, now just set your timer for about 15, 20 minutes. Come back and check on it, and I'll see you soon. 
It's been 20 minutes and our cake is finally risen and we're ready to take it out of the oven. Now the oven is 500 degrees, so we just want to make sure we don't burn ourselves some heat protection. Follow me over here. You're in for a treat. There she is. Oof. Mm. Ooh. And there it is, the chocolate cake, just like my grandma used to make it. From my kitchen to yours, I hope you have a great rest of your day.